Fun Facts About Pirates of the Caribbean Not all treasure is silver and gold, mate. Where have you heard this before? That's right, our favorite captain, Captain Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean. It's no secret Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl is one of the best pirate movies there is. After loving the pirates attraction at Disneyland for so long, seeing that world come to life on the big screen with A-list actors like Johnny Depp, Kira Knightley, and Orlando Bloom was simply magical. In fact, we're such big fans of the film that we previously dug up some fun facts about it. Since we love it so much, we decided to look for even more things you probably didn't know about Pirates of the Caribbean. So let's begin. 1. The Wicked Wench We all know the movie that started this all was The Curse of the Black Pearl, but many do not know that originally Jack Sparrow's ship was to be named The Wicked Wench. Weird, right? The name came from the ship on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in Disneyland. Before the film was a hit, many scenes in the film were based on the ride, but later aspects of the movie were added and changed, drawing in more guests. 2. The first shot in the film is actually five cut together. Despite looking seamless, the shot where the ship emerges from the fog, which opens the film, actually consists of five different shots. The footage was shot at the beginning of filming, but wasn't completed until two days before the premiere. 3. The writers in charge of the script were on set every day of filming. Screenwriters Ted Elliott and Terry Rossio were on set when the film was shooting, an event that is pretty rare in the world of movie making. This gave the cast more freedom to improv and have it added to the actual script. Jack's recurring phrase, savvy, and a familiar line at the end of the film, bring me that horizon, were a result of this process. 4. Director Gore Verbinski was afraid of the Pirates of the Caribbean attraction as a kid. He wanted to incorporate how the features of the Disneyland attraction made him both scared and made him laugh into the film. Based on how frightening the ghost pirates were and how hilarious Jack and Will's lines were, we'd say he nailed that feeling. 5. The eyes of the skeletons actually belong to the actors. In addition to modeling the pirates' CGI skeleton forms to match the character's bone structure, Verbinski decided to use the cast's actual eyes to add an extra layer of personality. This is best seen towards the end of the film, when Jack turns into a skeleton. 6. Depp and Verbinski have a funny way of describing Jack running away from danger. They both compared it to a lizard running on water. Looking back at Pirates of the Caribbean, we can totally see where they're coming from. 7. Johnny Depp based his portrayal of Jack on a famous musician. When approaching the role, Depp looked to none other than the Rolling Stones' Keith Richards. We can definitely see the resemblance, and apparently, so did filmmakers behind the scenes. Richard was cast as Captain Teague, Jack Sparrow's father in Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. 8. The cast and crew walked away from filming with tons of treasure. When producers wrapped, many of the people who worked on the film, including Johnny Depp, picked props out from the treasure cave to take home. According to Verbinski, not a single one of the cursed coins was left behind. 9. Early Start Kira Knightley was only 17 when she filmed the first Pirates of the Caribbean, so her mother needed to be present throughout the entire shoot. No wonder they had to burn the rum in that movie. 10. Kids in Town when the original Pirates of the Caribbean was released, co-stars Brendan Thwaites, who played Henry, and Kaya Scottolaro, Karina, were 14 and 13 years old. 11. She does what? Will Turner looked pretty surprised to see his fiance kiss Jack Sparrow, didn't he? That's because Orlando Bloom wasn't acting. He hadn't been given a script, which included the kiss, and he was kept in the dark until the moment came to film his reaction. The oldest trick in the book. 12. Should have said money. Lee Ehrenberg, who played Pinto in the first three Pirates films, revealed that the fan base of the film series got particularly attached to a line Pinto improvised while filming Curse of the Black Pearl. 
When Johnny Depp spoke his line about how the French invented the term parlay, he improvised and remarked that the French were also responsible for mayonnaise. Arnberg decided to play along, so he quipped, I love mayonnaise, in a humorous tone. The line ended up in the deleted scenes, as well as on the blooper reel. As a result, Arnberg would regularly receive jars of mayonnaise from fans, asking for his autograph. I sure hope he actually does like mayo. So that was all. That was our fun facts about Pirates of the Caribbean. Before leaving, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you next time.